Hey guys, um, I just got a plant given to me by a fellow grower in the area. This is a Zygopetal Machaea. It's a Zygo species. And it has gorgeous, fragrant flowers in the fall and winter. But before I'm going to introduce this uh, plant to my collection, I am going to virus test it. So I'm going to take a piece of one of these leaves, preferably one of the newer leaves. It has some new growths down here, but I don't want to cut into those. So I'm going to, th I think I might take, make, maybe take this one here. And then uh, I'm going to grind it up uh, in the bag of the solution here. And then the test strip will go in there. And we will see if this plant is uh, virus free. Well, at least the two viruses that this specific test uh, test for. So let's let's try that out. Okay, I'm going to clean the leaf off that I'm going to take with some Fysan just to make sure that there's not anything on the outside of the leaf that could affect the test results. Alright, then I'm going to spray my cutting tool with some thigh sand and then I'm going to take just this piece here, I'm going to cut off the tip because it's kind of black and then I've got a um, nice sized piece of uh, Agdea which is the maker of these Virus test kits recommend a quarter sized piece of plant material, so that's more than enough. And then the next step is I am going to set this down here, clean spot. I am going to open up the test packet here. And then I'm going to drop my piece of leaf in all the way down to the bottom there. Move it, move it down into the solution so it's okay. So now it's kind of all the way down there. And then I'm going to take just the edge of my scissors here and just grind it. Ah! I'm going to break those plant cells open and let all the juices come out until you start seeing a green juice and then you know you got so you see you get the green juice going on so we're good to do our test now I think I've actually ruptured the bag I rubbed so rubbed so hard okay so now we're going to take this test strip, we're going to, let's see, let's do it on this side. We're going to slip it down so that it's just, just touching the green liquid. And then we're going to set it here and we're going to watch it and we're going to watch this white section to see what happens. I'm going to rinse that stuff off my hands. I don't know what it is. I'm also going to rinse off my scissors. Give them a good spray. All right, so uh, it'll probably take a few minutes for this to show up, so I will update you when we start to see something. Alright, so the solution has gone all the way up the side and soaked into the test strip, and only one line is showing, and that means that this plant is virus free. I am thrilled to be given a beautiful orchid that is virus free. Now, it does have lots of spots on it, but if any of you who have grown zygopetalums know that is a thing that happens with zygopetalums, I'm going to research a little bit and see if there's anything that can be done. 
about those spots, prevent the new ones, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean the plant up, and then uh, I'll, I'll show it to you after I've, after I've cleaned it up a little bit, and uh, show it off a little bit. Okay, and here we go. So, Zagopetalum mckayi cleaned up. I cut off anything that was brown or dead, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I don't know how this plant will do in my conditions. In the greenhouse, it gets very chilly in the winter time, and these zygos really like that. I'm not going to be able to create those conditions in my uh, grow tent, but who knows? We'll see. I'll put it on the bottom. Um, and we'll just see how it does. So here's the plant again, and then here's the test strip that it shows no Cymbidium mosaic and no uh, Odontoglossum ring spot. So that's two viruses that we can count off the list here. So looking forward to adding this guy to my collection. Thanks for watching. Bye.